guys. Uh, this is my uh, Craftsman bandsaw. I've been converting it for, to a metal cutting one. I kind of wanted to give you guys an idea. This is the idea that I got from uh, Tubal Kane, uh, Lyle Pete or Mr. Pete on YouTube there. He had recommended trying to use one of these uh, gear reduction boxes to get the speed down for cutting steel. And uh, I used a little one-third horsepower motor. I think I could use a half horsepower. Uh, the one I was going to use didn't work out right, so I ended up having to adapt this one to work. It seems to be fine for right now. Um, Pulley-wise, it took some experimenting, even after uh, Lyle had done his stuff, but I put a 6-inch one here, and down here I got uh, approximately probably 2, 2 and a half, I guess, pulley. Um, that's what kind of a old bandsaw is. You can pick these things up for nothing at the garage sales and uh, estate sales. People don't want them, they're too big, but uh, they make good conversion for these metal ones, I think. Uh, this has a tilting table, uh, still works nice. The whole saw itself is in really nice condition, I think. Uh, the table up here is nice. Obviously from being a wood cut saw, it's gonna be pretty good. Uh, this is the outer cover here. I'll show you how slow it does actually run. I don't know if I could get much slower or not. Um, I'll try to measure the speed somehow. Lyle done it away. I don't have that tool really. I got a different RPM gauge. But the only thing I issue I have is that belt or the blade walks around on that upper pulley and the lower pulley. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because the tires wore out on the pulleys or if the blade is just bad. It's a brand new blade. Uh, but I'll throw a piece of eighth inch. I think just regular steel here. Seems to cut pretty nice. I realize it's real thick. I don't get any belt clipping. Real light pushing. Cuts a little bit faster than my Harbor Freight one, and I like the size of the table better so I can get a bigger piece of steel in here. As far as uh, belt tension, um, I made this plate so the I routered underneath it so you can slide the plate actually back and forth to adjust the belt. But I think it's about right. But I just wanted to show it, guys. It's a project I've been working on in my spare time, and uh, hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll sure answer them for you if I can.